Bamboo is the most incredible plant in the world because we can use them for everything. We have bamboo more than 200 varieties all over the world in Southeast Asian country. If we go back about 30 years back, bamboo is in our life. We use bamboo for building houses, for make tools, making tools, make food, make everything. When we have bamboo, that means we have everything. And bamboo can grow back very fast. Every year they double, triple, very fast after that. So it's the natural resources that they produce faster than anything. We can also eat the young shoot of bamboo like this. It is the best food for us for many, many generations. So bamboo is the miracle plant. We start to use more bamboo in building more and more now. This building is adobe house, but we make the whole roof with bamboo. It lasts very long. It's very beautiful and very cool. So bamboo can be used for everything. Now I think it's important to go back to bamboo because they grow back very fast and it's so cheap and it's so easy. So good to eat them too. There are many ways to grow bamboo, but the old way that people did in the past is just to dig up the, the root of the stem, any stem of bamboo that still look green. We can use them, pull them up like this. You can dig them up. At least you need to get the roots like this. If you have roots like this, they always survive. They will not die easily. This is the old way of planting bamboo. In the past, people grow a lot of bamboo everywhere. But the technique, the easy technique is to just dig up the root like this from the bamboo clump. Just one piece of this and bury them underground and then they grow back again. So it lasts for many, many years. Bamboo is very easy to grow. The best time to grow bamboo is the beginning of rainy season. Because if you grow in dry season, we need to water them all the time. If we start in the beginning of rainy season, we don't need to water at all. They just grow by themselves. Dig a small hole. The depth is about 8 centimeters, And then put the bamboo stem in there. Cover with dirt very well and then step on it make it very packed and tight so it will not move that's all another technique how to grow bamboo is just cut the the stem the, the branches of the bamboo like the one that stick out like this we cut them and we can cut only the stem or we can cut the whole joy of it and then we can plant them like that. This is the part that we can grow them. So if we have the branches and a joint like this, they will grow back. Or sometimes you can cut only the branches, no joint. It's okay too. But to have like this, they grow faster. So either way is fine. The technique to grow is similar to the same technique. The first technique, just dig a hole in the ground first, not too deep, or maybe about five centimeters or up to eight centimeters is okay. And then we put the bamboo in there and cover with the dirt very well and then step on it, pack it very tight. So to prevent moving is very important part of it because when the bamboo start to have roots, if we move them, the root will be break. So they can die after that. But if we make it tight or 
put some stick around to make a fence around it so nobody will not check it so it will survive for sure after we plant them we need to make sure that the soil will not dry up we need to water them if it's too dry that's why when we grow in rainy season they always have rain the soil always wet so they will survive for sure only one month we can see the new shoot start to grow from the joint of the bamboo that means if we can see the new shoot come out like this that means the roots underground start to grow too so they will not die for sure if we don't check them if we don't move them this one has no new shoot come out yet that means they don't have root yet but they're not die because they're still green soon they're gonna grow back this is how much it can grow in six months so bamboo they grow so fast if we take care of them well and then if we have very good soil if we have enough compost of food they're even faster than this bamboo grow faster than we think another way to propagate the bamboo is we cut under the branches where it stick with the stem like this we use the metal blade metal saw cut them about two-thirds of it almost break off but not break off that's that's good enough and then we can use uh, dirt to wrap around it we call grafting then we put the compost or dirt on top of the plastic a piece of plastic like this and then wrap around where we cut them wrap very well and then tie it with the rope or the string very well both sides and then this technique is is very quick we can leave it like this for seven days and then when we come back we can see the roots the new root grow inside after that we just cut them break them apart and we can plant them but before uh, we plant them it's good to nurse them in the nursery area first or if we want to sell them in the market we can put in the plastic bag after we see the root we just put in the plastic bag like this so this is ready to bring it anywhere and sell it so grafting this to make the seedling of bamboo is very good business everywhere in thailand you can buy many kind of bamboo like this so it's easy way to make money how to harvest bamboo to use to make house to make tools to mix everything what we need to know is the young bamboo like this if it look green like this that means this bamboo is younger than one year but if it the color look like this look dark color like this that means it's older than one year older than two years if the bamboo older than two years we can cut them and use them it will last long there's no bug eat them but if it's young like this the young one look green and you can see the bark wrap around it so this kind of bamboo if you use them the bugs gonna eat them so it will not last very really long so when we harvest bamboo we need to know we cut the old bamboo and the most important thing is the bamboo have to be harvested at the end of the dry season this is the best time to harvest bamboo because they will last longer the bugs will not eat them if we harvest in rainy season a lot of bugs love it bamboo save a lot of food in the stem during rainy season and then they will use them during the dry season
but at the end of dry season, all the food will run out. So they have no food in the stem. Buck will not love it because no food in there. If we harvest bamboo that older than two years, and then harvest them at the end of dry season, it will last more than 50 years. But if not, we need to soak with borax and boric acid. The recipe that we use is one kilogram of boric, boric acid and borax, and 20 liters of water. Then we soak bamboo in there seven days. After soak for seven days, we take it out and dry them, and then we can use them. It will last more than 40 years. It lasts very long. So, no bugs, nothing to disturb. Bamboo is good for building. Another way that we use bamboo is eat them. As the bamboo shoot is the very delicious food because it tastes sweet, a little bit sweet, it tastes good. But raw bamboo is bitter. Most of bamboo can be eaten, it's edible mostly. But some kind of bamboo can be very bitter, some kind is not bitter. But before we eat bamboo, we always cook them first, boil them for at least half an hour, and the bitterness will go away. We pour the water out, and then we can eat them after that. We can use them for cooking in different way. Sometimes we like to grill them first, so it will peel off the layer that wrap around the bamboo easily. Because the hair around the layer is very itchy sometimes, but we need to boil them after that. We can chop them, scrape them like this to make it smaller piece, and then we boil them after that. And then we can eat, we can cook it with any recipe, it's good. There are many ways to slice them thin to make them become a long strip. So. Different way of cooking, we need different shape of bamboo, and then we can boil them again after that. This is bamboo salad. It's only garlic, onion, chilies, and then mint, and fish sauce mixed together. It tastes so good. It's simple, but good. We eat bamboo almost every week here. It's normal food for us. Sometimes we just boil the whole bamboo in a big pot for a while and then we just peel them off and eat them like this. So bamboo shoot is everywhere in Thailand. People eat a lot of them. Bamboo used to play very big roles in our life in the past. It become everything. It become houses. It become tools. It become basket, bucket and trays and everything, it become food. So after the plastic came, people forgot the bamboo. And when we start to use more plastic, we have more problem, we had more garbage, we have more health problem also, and then we have to spend more money. I think it's not too late to think about going back, going back to bamboo. Bamboo is here. Bamboo is waiting for us. They're ready to propagate more.